Hello everyone and welcome to episode hmm seven? Seven maybe? Yeah. I think seven. Of Dark Souls 2. Yeah. So last time we failed a bit and then we failed a bit more and then we failed a bit more and then we killed the last sinner and now we are here in Huntsman's Cups. And let's hope we don't fail even more. Yeah. That's that's a good goal, I guess. To not fail. But in this place we probably will, because this place is a dick. Because of these these butterflies that are there. They poison the bejesus out of you. And that's not fun. But they are easily dodged, I think. Or easily killed. Maybe I can actually shoot him from here. Um, do I have my bow? Bow, 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 bow. Didn't I have a bow? Oh, I didn't get a bow yet. Well, I know where to pick it up, but oh crap! So no bow. Well, that's a uh, bummer. Hmm. Then we'll have to brave the poison, I guess. Or we could try and jump. Yeah. Jump, 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 jump. And now get this first. Now let's go get another item. If we don't get. Yeah, we are poisoned. So let's kill this dude before we die. Item and Estus quickly for well, there is a weapon here one that's actually pretty good if you go full dexterity but that's not a weapon for us it's regards rapier let's see uh, equipment yeah regards rapier there are numerous, numerous variations of the story of the prince who wandered the lands and eventually became undead. The majority of these tales ended in tragedy, but there are some exceptions. An, ex an exquisitely decorated rapier, said to belong to a prince who appears in an ancient tale. Prince Ricard. Okay, and now let's get this. More souls. And actually... Before I go through Huntsman's Cops, I want to do a couple of things. So I should actually head back to the bonfire. Hello. Wow, I can one hit you? That's not supposed to happen. Okay, there's one guy here. This is a pit of death. Bandit's knife. Okay, I think I can make it to the other bonfire, actually. Without having to go back to the first one. Yeah. Come at me, I have a shield now! Now we have to drop down here. Okay. Okay. Rogue armor. Ooh. Actually never wore that before. Rogue armor. Oh, because it's kind of shit. Well, it's light though, so... Hmm. 
Oh yeah, we are still human from last time. Oh, and an item there. I forgot this was an ambush. No! <laughs> uh, falling to my death. It's so... <laughs> it, it, it's, it's kind of becoming my thing. Just falling to my death. Well, should we go back for our souls? Um, yeah, probably. Oh no, no. Let's not go back. There are a couple of things that are more important than... Um, a couple of souls, because I missed a couple of things in my way through the game so far that I actually should have gotten, so I'm going to get them right now. And a couple of important things. So... The first thing I missed... is down here. Okay, it's actually here, in a chest, one very, very important item, the Estes Flask Shard. And now um, I'm going to use a Homeward Bone, off we go. Because I missed another important item. And that's up here. Through this door. And it's not this. And it's an item. It's here. Another. That's this flask shard. And a small white soapstone. See, a couple of important items. Now we should go to Majula to upgrade our Estus flask and this will increase our su survivability by a whole lot a whole whole lot okay hello Is that here to see how yes please okay let's do that again thank you do I have something to burn? Let's see. Sublime bonus. Now our Estes flask is upgraded to its maximum potential for this part in the game at least. Five Estes flasks plus two. Awesome. Okay, and now is there anything else that I'm forgetting? No, I don't think so. Let's go. Oh, I actually never used that fragrant bands branch of your, which I could actually do. I refuse your poison. Gravestones, illusory wall ahead. <sighs> That's such a liar. Okay, I wonder. Can I jump that there? No, probably not. The 
this guy. Always waiting to ambush me. But now we have a lot of Estus flasks. So yay. Get all my souls. Cracked red eye all. It's only useful if I ever invade someone, but I'm not as good in PvP as I want to be, so. Now we have this shortcut and the next bonfire. Now I have a couple of choices actually in this area. I could either um, run through and go quickly to the, the main boss of this area or I could you know take a more difficult route and first beat or fight rather a difficult boss but I'm I don't know yet what I'm going to do because I really, really hate one of the bosses that's in this area. Okay, now run through, because we don't want to get poisoned. Okay, now there's that guy, so let's get the Morning Star here. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Whew. That was way too close. Whew. Now I think... Is there something here? No. No, no, that's not. But there's an ambush up ahead. So let's first get this guy. Oh no. Oh crap, crap, crap. I'm out of stamina. And there's still an archer left, I think. Yeah. He's right there. Okay. Now there's still an ambush here. I've done this a couple of times so I kinda know what to expect from this area. Dark sky. Um, let's see. That door is locked, but the key is up ahead. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Oh no! Now there's this guy. I'm taking way too much damage again. That's no problem because we're nearly at the location of the key.
And here we have it. The undead lockaway key. So, let's go unlock that bonfire inside the little hut. Whew. Thank god I have more um, SS flasks because looks like I need them. <laughs> And there's a guy here. Let's talk to him. Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. The cheeky prick. I am Creighton of Mira. I've heard this land was full of danger. I joined forces with a man on the way. But he was no more than a backstabbing knave. He took the first chance he had to try and I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. <laughs> I can't believe that I was so dense. You be careful of him. Pate. He wears this rather unusual ring. I've seen his type before. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man, he's a... Pate. Okay. I'll find the common from Learn gesture. Fist bump. Okay. Oh crap. Totally forgot you were here. Um, I think I'm going to skip the super difficult boss again, like the gargoyles, until I'm actually strong enough to beat them, because at this point, even getting there is going to take a lot of effort. So yeah, I'll just have to remind myself that I need to come back to this area. Because really, that's, it's a lot of hassle. And there's a dude here thinking we are going to fall for the ambush. Oh! My shield wasn't fast enough. I really, really need to increase my adaptability because that will help me a lot. Oh, and he dropped on the side. And now comes a really interesting part, yeah. Merciless Rhino. She gets backstabbed very easily, it seems. Invader banished. Okay. Now, this way we could open a shortcut, but I think I can handle the boss just as it is. Or I could try to summon someone, but no, no, no. Let's just go for it. He's going to spawn a couple of guys. And I just need to kite them around. Oh. Uh, 
Let's get the nests. Yeah. Now we kill this guy. They really should have put oh the other boss as a way to get to the next area because this one is just a little bit too easy. Even a scrub like me can handle this one. Now actually comes the trickiest part. If you don't handle it right, because now, yeah, these guys get summoned. I really hate them. Because they are the ones that can actually murder me. Okay, skeleton lords. Damn. Let's say off to the next area. Yeah. Okay, now I have two bosses on the list that I still need to do. Being the gargoyles and the chariot. Two of the more difficult bosses, I think. Now we're already next area. And there's a bonfire to the right, but let's first talk to this lady. Are you a traveller? Yes. I'm Cloran. I travel about I never planned to visit, but I don't know. Cloran. Just... Cloran. Oh, many of these Oh. I've extra she sells titanite and other things like hexes and miracles. But I she'll talk to her. She'll move to Majula. Some of them are extremely rare, and none of the differences are easily spotted. Dranglay, how it's funny. I've searched. Air. Perhaps we'll meet. I've said. Perhaps we'll meet. Okay. I suppose it's about time I moved shop. Yep. Now let's first travel to Majula ourselves because we need to level up. Get some adaptability up in this business. <coughs> okay. Level up. And oh, we can only go. Let's go 16 adaptability. And yeah, let's do this. Ideally, 25 adaptability is our goal. Actually, I need to check something. Do we have? No, we don't. Only have one small smooth and silky stone. We still haven't used our fragrant branch of yore. Hmm. Let's use these souls. Because I don't need them. And this is also a soul I can use. With that regret. Now let's go look back to the armorer. Look at this shop again. I'm glad. Because I might want to get something. Hmm. Is this fireball armor? I don't really know. I think an injured belt princess gets away, but 
Is this actually any good? 75, 77, 77. Let's look. Always open for business. Equipment. Oh, it's way worse than what we have. But I want to spend souls uh, with him. Because he then unlocks some new sets of armor. Let's get the Elite Knight set, why not? It's an awesome set. Thanks very much. Do come again. Now, act what can we wear of this set actually? Because we were pretty um, encumbered already. Let's wear this. Even though it doesn't serve as much protection. And oh, that just brings us over the edge. Well, we'll maybe lose the hood then. Or well, one of our rings. Do we have a ring that is useful? No. Yeah, let's just lose the hood. Because now we look like a badass. Look at us. And can we upgrade our armor so it's actually better? No, because we need tight night shards. And we don't have them. And she sells them, but then I don't have any souls. So we'll have to come back later. Okay, Harvest Valley. A shithole full of poison. So we will dash through this like we've never dashed before. <laughs> because there's nothing really worth sticking around for. Well, maybe. Yeah, we can do an item run, maybe. Check out what most of these items are. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. But those guys, they fire terrible, terrible shadowy things. And are we going to get poisoned, actually? Yes, we are going to get poisoned. So we are going to just walk through this poison and do an item run what poison again no problem for Estus. Titanite Knight Chunky even, ooh. Well that was actually worth it. Okay, and what's through here? Other than death, maybe. Fragrant Branch of Yore! Now that's something I have skipped in all my runs actually. Damn. And Kavlan? Kavlan is here? What? Kavlan will. Kavlan what? Will Kavlan. Okay. I've never. <laughs> that's awesome. Let's sell this sunset stuff because I don't need it. I never knew before that Gavlan would come here. That's something totally new to me. Many deal, many thanks. <laughs> now what's in this chest? Let's hope it's not trapped. Okay, a raw stone. Oh, so we can upgrade this to raw if we want. 
That's actually pretty awesome. I like this very much. Ooh, and here's a chest. A fire seed and a divine blessing. Not as awesome, but still. Okay, this was pretty cool. Let's get out of here. Because we are going to get ready to praise the sun. This lever and the doorway opens. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so we are going to do more item runs in the poison because that's actually pretty cool. The secrets I found now. Well, not really secrets if you just go and look for them because there are some poison holes here that I've actually never dared explore. What's in here? Oh crap! Oh no! Well, that's not what I was. Look! Oh ho! Oh. Nope! 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 Oh, and it's a one-way. <laughs> okay. So there's the room of death. There, with all my souls in it. Hmm. That's a bit of a conundrum. So should I go and get my souls? Can I get them from here? Nope. So now I need to battle them. Unless I can magically jump out? No. Okay, I'm stuck here. He's just going to kill me like this. Yep. Okay, that might pose a small problem. How can I... Ooh, I might be able to break through that wood. Let's try that. That's failed miserably, but let's try that. I think I should be able to get my souls. Yeah, I like this. I still want to get those items, so fuck it. Live gem. Oh, it was a trap. It was a trap indeed. Simpleton spice. Okay, now I've lost my souls. Yep, I'm not going back for those. <laughs> That's what you get for exploring parts of the game you've never been to, ever, ever before. That's actually kind of exciting. Because I've actually never noticed that hallway. Can I actually destroy this? No. Let's see what's down the other sides this corridor. Oh crap! There's this guy.
What a dongle. Treasure ahead, but be wary of poison. Okay. Wait, why can't I? Oh no, do I need him for... Crap. Or maybe, just maybe. No, let's do this. Come on, black firebomb. Ah, so we need him. Okay, no problem. We can get to that next time. Be wary of poison. Poison stone, rotten pine resin. Okay, I can't see anything. Soul of a nameless soldier. Let's follow the um, text, I guess. Hey, and we're back. Okay, so that was awesome. Yeah, let's do another poison run. Fading soul. That was just a bait. Crap. Where should I go now? I can't see anything. No! Um, kinda lost? Maybe? Is there actually a way out? Let's hug the left wall. Or right wall. Rather, oh crap, I should. Esther's up. Oh, I'm here. I know where we are. Okay. Now, let's heal at the bonfire and go and get the items behind the big dude because we literally have nothing to lose with only 750 souls and then we are going to praise the sun like we should hello guy looks like I need you for this maybe Did that work? No. Hello guy, come on. Break this. Break this please. Come on. You can do it. He broke me? <laughs> Okay, so if he doesn't want to break this, we won't bother him any longer. Yeah. Let's go and praise the sun, because that's what we need to do right now. There's actually a lot more poison we can explore, but I'm not feeling like it. Hello, you. Long time no see. Oh, dicks. You're actually getting more and more hollow. And now, realize I see my hair is falling out. It's getting patchy. How does that hit me? What? See, praise the sun, no oh, joy ahead. Be wary of enemy right. Then praise the sun. Hello. See, one of them is easy, but the whole gangbang of them? Nope. 
Praise the sun, praise the sun. Altar of sunlight, enter covenant. Join the heirs of the sun. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. You've got the sun seal, enter the covenant, learn the gesture. Praise the sun, offer sunlight medal. Yes, yes. The moment we've all been waiting for. If you get this far, you actually, this is a win. If you get this, you win the game. It's just, yeah. Let's change this, or oh, no. Let's change, yeah, that. With... Praise the sun. Praise the sun! Yes. We are now an heir of sunlight. Or an heir of the sun, more specifically. And that's awesome. Okay, no enemies left, a precariously placed jump there, but I don't think I want to take that jump. Oh no. How does that keep hitting me? That's the question I want answered. What? That was not fair, I wasn't even up yet. I wasn't even up. But, no worries. As long as we praise the sun. Let's use a human effigy, yeah. We've got all our pretty hair back. And now we can go and wreck some people. And actually, I could upgrade my armor and my weapons if I wanted. But, nah. All these shades. Shades wanting to be summoned. And you. Stop hitting me when I roll away. You dick. See? No! No, 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 no. Not supposed to hit me when I roll. Oh. Praise the sun indeed. Oh, now that was stupid. Come on, we just use the humanity, so please. No waste. Wait, he is aggroed, but he's not. Explain that, please. How does that work? Now there's two of them at the same time. Let's equip some more life gems. Okay, let's go and kick his ass first. Oh, wait, what? I did not sign up for this. Captic Spice. Did he drop down? No. Oh. Didn't even allow me to roll. Come on. Okay, simultaneous skill. I can live with that. 
and he dropped down. Perfect. That means he won't find his way back out. Shall we summon a Sunbro for this? Yeah, why not? We actually don't really need to for this boss because this boss is slow. Another Sunbro? Why not? Come on. We are getting offered some phantoms so we won't say no to what we are given. Or something in those lines. Hello, Sunbro! Please! Praise the sun! Come on, praise the sun. Praise the sun. No? But you are sun bros. Praise it. Praise it. Yes! He praised the sun. Oh, and he pointed at the door. So. A man with no patience. Covetous demon. Fatty McFat Fat. He's hungry and he wants to eat our souls. The only attack that I'm really worried about from him is his bitch slap and his roll. Oh, and his jump apparently. Oh crap. Well. Praise the sun. Covetous demon soul. See? Some jolly cooperation. Woo! Goodbye, you guys. And the Sunlight Medal, and another one, because two Sun Bros helped me. And that's actually my goal, because if I get 20 Sunlight Medals in total, I can get an awesome weapon that I will use for the rest of the game. The Sun Sword. And that's so uh, I really want it. So, whenever I can, I will summon Sun Bros from now on. Okay. Look at heal. Here you are again. Still Hello, alone. Lucy. Sorry to have burdened you, sir. No problem. This is for you. Ah, a ring of seal protection. Nice. My memories of the curse is doing its work. I am frightened with everything. She... I had it. You became. I never even. In fact, there. Now I'm so. If only my brother. Soon. Uh -huh. If only some. My brother. Soon okay. I may forget even about him. Let's equip this ring. Ring of Steel Protection plus one. Seventy percent exact. So yes. We have the ideal build right now. But first let's level before we do anything. That's the most important part. You fight a boss, you get souls, you level. It's easy. Easy peasy. There. Level up. Only one level this time. I will spend it wisely. Uh, let's, yeah, put it in dexterity. Why not? Thank you. Now we are in the Earthen Peak. And we are close to actually another bonfire. Yeah. Um, nothing here, and then we go to the left. Here we find some assassins. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Don't assassinate me, please, Mr. Assassin! Wow. That's actually never happened to me before. That amount of damage from them. They usually go down pretty easily. Ho ho. That's 
Um, an item there, but also that guy. So if we pull this, we can fight him freely. For some reason, every time I record, I don't know what it is, maybe my nerves or something, I just don't seem to get to that level of skill that I want. Yeah, you fall off. <laughs> Okay, now if I'm not mistaken, what's here? I don't actually remember what's here. The way forward is there, but what's down here? Enemy ahead. Thank you. Oh yeah, just, I think a chest. Wary of liar. Is this a mimic? No, it's not. Hmm, a pike. So, yeah. Let's go up the stairs. But, as you can see by the bloodstains, be wary of ambush! And now, his friend. Headless assassins called mannequins. Now, this guy will try to run away, but we won't let him. And a new bonfire. Let's light it, but not rest at it just yet. Let's first light the torch. and burn this because this will get rid of all the nasty poison up ahead poison I really don't want to deal with okay oh yeah Let's not go through there because there is a trap that activates some arrows. <laughs> a mannequin mask. Something that actually looks very interesting. Mask of the mannequins of Harvest Valley. A fickle queen gave them life and tore off their faces. How else could she forgive those who dared gaze upon her? Looks like that. Kinda creepy, but hmm. Some might like it. Because we burned everything, now all the gears have stopped turning. Um yeah, that's the way forward. And that's just another way to get here. Down there. Okay, thank god I didn't get poisoned all the way. Secret wall here. With a ring, I believe. Spell quartz ring plus one. What does that do again exactly? Increases magic defense. And now there should be some annoying people up ahead. Nope. 
Okay, I actually got what I wanted. She poisoned herself. Now if I can get her to do the same, awesome. That makes them a lot easier. Oh. Now there's still one sorceress there. But let's not bother with her right now. We should go through this first. Firebomb! We have to be very careful that we don't get poisoned by them. Now just the one. Okay. And be wary of this chest, because this chest is very, very special. As you can see, it has teeth. We don't like chests with teeth. We kill them. Dropping dark gauntlets and a work hook. Are the gauntlets better than ours? Yes, they are, but they are a lot heavier. And now... This is not actually useful. We don't have a Pharaoh's Lock Stone, but if you would like to activate this, don't do that because it's shit, to say the least. Uh, this guy, he hits like a truck actually. Or she, I don't really know. With a lot of bleed damage, oh god. That's something. I don't remember. Dropped an item. Brigand trousers plus five. Hello. Where are they? Oh, here. Oh, but they are still worse. Okay, and now for the last couple of secrets in this area, we have a petrified something, correct, and a as the door opens, bonfire. Let's light it. Now, I must be very, very wary of how I roll. There are some sun bros, but there also are some grave wardens. Oh, no! Well, that didn't go as expected. <laughs> hmm. Killing them will be sl a slight problem, actually. Normally I just lure one of them out, but that doesn't seem to be working right now. That would be the perfect backstab. Come on, I need to be able to backstab someone. You! Nope, why didn't that work?
Now we come back, so... No, 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 no! Please don't kill me, please don't kill me! No, no, no! No, you won't. And... You won't either. Okay, so we are no longer human, but we will be when someone summons us. And then, in turn, we can summon someone else. And we get some sunlight medals in the process. What is she doing right here? Is she going to hurt me? Let's hope not. Come on. Are you going to do something? She wants my blood. She really does. Okay, is nobody going to summon me? That would be quite unfortunate. Yeah, you back away. Come on. Back away. All fail completely. Come on, I want to regain my humanity. Please, it's an easy boss. You can use my help for an easy boss. That's that's logic. Ooh, that's a nice effect, actually. Look at my summoning sign. It makes this weird. Ooh. Okay. If I don't get summoned... Okay, I just want to farm sunlight metal, so... Let's use this. Cancel this. And yeah. Let's summon someone else. Two sun bros, that means two sunlight medals. Yes, 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 yes. Sun bro and or sun sister. Praise the sun! Hello, vengeance. Praise the sun. Let's go and do this. As long as we don't roll into the poison, everything should be a okay. And actually, I keep forgetting, because I have a shield now, I shouldn't roll away as much and just tank the hits. Oh, she got staggered. See, just tanking the hits works. Praise the sun! You are welcome. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Sunlight medal! Sunlight medals for everyone! Bees! Bees! Bees for everyone! Okay. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. Things are looking up. Actually, let's see. How many sunlight metals do I have? Four. Two fragrant branches of yore. And the petrified something. We should go trade that in with the crows. That tattoo looks really awesome, actually. <laughs> What is your name, Sir Knight? My name is Digbot. The Iron Keep! Awesome, awesome, awesome!
actually the iron keep is so awesome that we are going to look at it next episode so as always if you like this episode please like it and if you really really like this episode please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.